Uh, let's take a look at the next one, number 11. And this is the problem with Alice being farsighted and she can't see objects that are closer to her eye than 80 centimeters. What is the refractive power of the contact lenses that will enable her to comfor comfortably see objects at a distance of 25 centimeters from her eye? Okay, so this is a contact lens problem. And remember, a contact lens is just another lens that you put right in front of your eye. So let's draw the issue here. Here's her eyeball, and she can see things that are 80 centimeters away, no problem. Okay, which means that she can focus that image onto her retina. But when that object comes in a lot closer to 25 centimeters, Now she can't focus it on her retina anymore. It, in fact, is going to focus behind her eyeball. Okay. So this is, of course, somebody that is what? Farsighted or nearsighted? Farsighted. Alice is farsighted because she can see things that are far away, but she can't see things that are close. So right off the bat, if you're going to fix Alice's eyeballs to read, do you want to use positive lenses or negative lenses? Yeah, you need to use a positive lens in this case. Reading glasses are positive lenses. All right. So we're going to take this picture now, and we're going to add a positive lens. So here's her eyeball. I'm going to put a contact lens right on her eyeball, and now the image is formed on the retina. So when you put two lenses together, do you add their focal lengths? If I have F1 and F2, is the resulting focal length going to be F1 plus F2? No. That doesn't sound right because that would be a much longer focal length lens. And I know that if I put a magnifying glass next to my eyeball, right, it's going to act like a shorter focal length lens. So when you add two lenses, you in fact add their powers. And power is 1 over the focal length. And remember, the units are 1 over meters, which is diopters. So in this new case, we need to figure out how much power to add in a contact lens. And to do that, we need to know the power of her eyeball in the first case, okay. Okay. So, what is the image distance? The image distance is the size of the eyeball, which is 25 millimeters, and therefore, in this case, we have one over f bless you equals one over do plus one over di. And this is, we'll call this f of her bare eyeball. DO is 80 centimeters, so that's 1 over 0 0.8 meters. DI is 25 millimeters, which is 0 0.025 meters. And if you calculate this, you are in fact calculating the power of the bare eyeball. And what do you get if you do that? You can almost ignore the 1 over 0 0.8. This is going to be a much bigger number. But punch it into your calculator anyway and tell me what you get for the power of her bare eyeball. Translate 
Mm, no. Because this is going to be something like 40, right? And this is going to add another 1.2 to it. So I'm going to say that you should get somewhere around there. Anybody get that in their calculator? 41.2? Okay. So 41.2 is the power of her bare eyeball. But now we're going to add a lens to the system right in front of her eyeball. And we have a new DO. DO is now 25 centimeters. We have the same DI because it's the size of the eyeball, 25 millimeters. And so now we can calculate the power of the contact plus bare eyeball system. And that is going to be 1 over F of the contact plus bare eyeball system. And that is 1 over 0 0.25 plus 1 over 0 0.025. And what do we get if we do that? Well, this is still 40, and this is 1 over a quarter, which is 4, so I'm going to say it's 44. Is that what you guys got? Okay, these are both diopters. So the bare eyeball was 41.2, the system together was 44, and since you can add powers, what is the power of the contact lens? It's just the difference. It's going to be the power of the contact with the bare eyeball minus the power of the bare eyeball, 44 minus 41.2, and that's going to equal 2.8 diopters. And that's a positive number. And if we look at the answers, one of them is really close to 2.8. It is answer B. It says 2.75. So there must have been a little bit of extra digits here somewhere that we missed. Okay, and that sounds like a reasonable number, right? When you go to get your prescription, what does it say? It says plus 2.8 or plus 3.5 or negative 3 or negative 2. Okay, and that's the power that you're adding with this contact lens. 